Hello and welcome to the Fluxus Software YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you Fluxus Network Chat Beta, which is a ch uh, network chat application inspired by former GI so or Gnarly Interfacing Software created by Rob Gnarly, um, who is now a member of Divinex, or actually now he is Divinex, and Fluxus uh, Software is a member of Divinex. So if, just go ahead and check out Divinex Org YouTube channel. And go ahead and subscribe if you want. If you like these videos, you like his videos, I guarantee it. So, uh, th this what it does is it reads and writes text files simultaneously. So within a tenth of a second, it can read a text file. So it's almost si simultaneous. So right when I type something in here, it shows up in here. Of course, it uses just a simple text file, and soon this will be changed so it'll have its own file format. But it'll be it'll be the same principle. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set up a connection here. Oh, is that a set it in your chat room? Oh, I did set it in your chat room. Okay, sorry, I kind of messed it up. Okay, so right now this is like a code, and so what the code is going to do, I haven't uh, programmed it yet, I'm still working on it, so there are plenty of features that will be added, but it's pretty basic right now. So what the code is theoretically saying is the code uh, that's getting sent out, it's like actually there's a username and, no, the chat text file is code number one, and usernames is code number two. And so what it, the code is doing is if you ever want your file to be secure, so if you have some kind of users on there who you may not necessarily trust, because the problem about this is you can, you have to tell somebody the file location of the text file, and so someone could go in there and tamper with the text file if they wanted, but using the chat code kind of encrypts the, uh, the location, and then uh, the... Three, like you so if the code was for example like FF three nine six, you'd give that to whoever you else you want to have join your room and they type in FF three nine six and they have no idea where that code is. But Flex's network chat can decipher that code and is then uh dictate where exactly the text file is. So because that's not set up, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the simple way here. I'm gonna browse for text file. I'm just gonna go ahead and right click and go new. And then text document that shows up down here, and I'm gonna just type in uh, fs text. Open. Oops. Okay, now I'll do it. Okay, and I'll do save, and then it saves it. And then in here, I'm gonna do file new chat room. And by the way, this is administrator, and it'll be changed so that if you uh, only administrators will have privileges of like of kicking people and doing things like that. I'm gonna open this up. Okay, save. Keep in mind this is using this, this is using the same text file, and I can I'll pull up Notepad afterwards to prove this to you. Okay, so I'm gonna do here is type a message. So I'm just gonna go. Hello. Oh, actually, I'm gonna set up a username first. Settings nickname. I'm just gonna make this Schmal because my other YouTube channel is Omega Org Com Schmal and Schmal Zero Zero One. Those are my two Schmal Zero Zero One. Just kind of my personal one. So. I'll save that there, and then I'll make this uh, nickname. I'll make this Flexus. Save. Okay. Should be different now, so I'm just going to go ahead and type in hello. Send. And then it shows up on both of these. Okay, and here we're here. And we go hi, Shmal. Send. And then Flexus, hi, Shmal. So it updates simultaneously, as you see. So I'll just type in, like, Hi, in general. Okay, so watch the screen as close as you can, and then right as I hit it, bam, it shows up in both of them. So it's, it's simultaneous, and then the cool features of it right now that are enabled are just changing the colors. Oops, nope, don't do that. Uh, and what that does is when you do uh, settings, reset chat room text, is it clears the chat room. So if you have too much text there that you want to get rid of, it goes ahead and erases it. And erases it. So I don't want to do that right now, so I'm going to go ahead and just change the colors of the whole thing so the chat background color I'm gonna change it to how about let's make it like a matrix kind so I'll make it black okay so it's black and then we'll change the uh, front four color which is going to be this nice lime green there we go apply and so now it's like this color so blah blah send and then, uh, it's a different color it's kind of cool you can't really change the color of the text file though so that may be a few feature in the future but for right now it's not gonna happen and then 
the other option that we have is uh, show file sharing. Now this is getting enabled, or this is getting uh, heavily developed too. This is one of the main features that I'm working on. So what this is, is uh, you upload files. So it has to be a file that's on the network. And also, by the way, this works over yo or over the inter or over LAN. Sorry, it's gonna lost it there. So it uses wireless. I guess not LAN wireless. So WAN. So if I since I have a wireless network set up in my house, I could theoretically talk to anyone else in my house as long as you type in their name. So I'm not gonna do that right now because this is not a tutorial showing you how to use it. It's just kind of demonstrating it. So I'm gonna go ahead and share a file. And then it's all files here. I haven't really messed with the uh, open file dialog thing. So we'll see. I'll just make this new link bar. This is actually part of the website I'm working on. Open it. Okay, then it says Shmal has posted a file on both of these. And then down here it says the file name. And then eventually there's going to be a. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm going to open it up here. So settings, show file sharing. There, there. So you can't see it right now, but it. Uh, it updates it here, and so it, says, or it gives you that location, and then there's going to be a link linking to that file or whatever it is, and then open up the right program to open or to use it. So that's pretty simple. And then if I don't want the file sharing there anymore, I go settings, hide file sharing, and it's gone, just like that. It's that easy. Settings, hide file sharing. So this is the basic Flexus network chat. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and or please subscribe uh, to support us. And subscribing supports me. And you can also give feedback when you subscribe. Because I don't want to listen to people who don't subscribe. Because subscri subscribers are people who are. Um, I'm just losing it. I'm babbling on. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to stop this now. So thank you for watching. And soon there will be a beta download available. Just look for the next video. See you later.